You know this thing where there's some Mac apps, say, where you keep hearing about it. You keep being told it's great, and you we well, don't sound that useful until you use it, and then you can't stop telling people how great it is. That. That's this 58 keys, and the app in question is Clean Shot X. I believe it's X, not 10. I wish that thing would get sorted out, Roman numerals and all that stuff, but Clean Shot X, it's for taking screen grabs, screenshots, screen images of your Mac, and well, I don't know, you you may not you may or you may not think of reasons why you want to save an image of your Mac's screen, but if you can think of it, if you do it, you 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 know, you've seen this already. The Mac itself already comes with very, very good ways to do that. There cannot possibly be a reason to buy another third party app to do what the Macs already do. Except Hello, I'm William Gallagher, and this is 58 Keys, which, as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use and who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. Do subscribe or support 58 Keys on Patreon, because there's so much to talk about. There's always so much to talk about. And in this case, maybe also to defend. I mean, it's going to be defend or it's going to be eulogise. Let's make our choice. But yeah, no, no reason it can't be both. All right, let's make our choice to do both. Yeah, look, listen, in case you don't happen to have ever needed to know, on a Mac, right, any Mac, out of the box, you can press uh, Control, Shift, and tap the number three to immediately save an image of everything on your screen. Okay? Um, oh, okay, actually, my using a screen grab to show you that you can take screen grabs seems a bit meta, really, but whenever... I want to show you something in 58 keys in a Mac app or an iPhone or an iPad one, or I'm telling somebody I know, press this button to solve their problem, whatever. What you see, what I send them is a screen grab image, or it's a screen grab video recording. And the Mac does screen grab video recordings too. But yeah, it comes to that. Back to screenshot images. This, this one specific thing, this one specific feature is what got me to try CleanShot X at all. I've used, I, how many hundreds of thousands of screenshots have I taken for articles and videos? This is what got me to try something else. Here's the website for the Guardian newspaper, and this is an article in it from October 2022 that I was interviewed for, so I would like to keep a copy. I, I don't like that white space at the top. That's actually where the newspaper usually puts an advert, and it, and it did. I mean, just a moment ago, that space, it was a large ad for a Google Pixel phone. I mean, looked very nice. Now it's just rather showing me the space where it would put an ad when it gets around. I don't know, websites, what can you do? What I know is that I want to screen grab this whole article and that, you know, it goes down the page. I, you know, I want the whole thing. Let's just do it. Open the Clean Shot X menu bar icon. Choose Scrolling Capture. Drag to select a region of the screen that I want to grab. Then click Start Capture, now click Auto Scroll, and watch. Sold. There is a lot more, a lot more that CleanShot X can do with screen grabbing. And it's one of those apps where you keep finding another bit to like. Most of this time, most of the time, the app d does just do what the Mac does anyway. It does, I may, it does it maybe a little bit better maybe just the same but then there's just like odd little bits like that scrolling capture that mean yeah throughout clean shot x beats apple's built-in version um scrolling capture or this here's something i quite often need to do this is a type of legal document i will often need to quote from for some reason and who knows why i can't drag over the text the way you would expect the way the mac normally lets you previously this is laborious, but to get that text, I mean, I could type it out, but it's often a substantial chunk and I'm always on a deadline. Uh, I would use the Mac screen grab tool to take an image of the paragraph I want. And then I would open that in the preview app. And then I would use Apple's quite new live text uh, feature to select the paragraph, press control C, paste it. Yeah, done. Yeah, okay, seriously, it, it, yeah, it took longer to say that than to do it. But as quick as the Mac could be even by itself doing that, can't beat this. Choose Capture Text, OCR from the menu, draw a box around what you want, then go to a word processor, paste, done. Not only is it faster, not only did it do the, just do the copying by itself, so all I had to do is paste, but it's really done. I don't have to now clean up a pile of screen grabs that I took along the way. 
Yesterday, I spent the day at the Writers Guild of Great Britain. I'm a deputy chair there, and I was training half a dozen people on how to quickly make YouTube videos. Okay, they have the guild has these great online events. They want to get them out onto YouTube. Uh, they're using a video editing app called DaVinci Resolve, which is very good, by the way. I use and adore Final Cut Pro, but I can well see why they use DaVinci because they're on PCs instead of Macs, and Final Cut isn't on Macs, isn't on PCs rather. Anyway. That training, right, that was yesterday, but today I'm due to send them some notes, uh, a handout thing. And and I will do that. In fact, it's the thing I'll be writing when you and I are done talking. But because of CleanShot X, I'm able to do something like this. Say, for some reason, we need to cut out a bit here. I'm trying to show you a video of me making a video to show people how to use a video. This is hurting my head. But this is just part of CleanShot X. Take a video recording of you, uh, your screen, and include yourself in that little circle video as you, for example, show someone how to make a cut in a video editing app. You get, it's much easier to just describe it and do it and show people rather than say, position cursor, click here. Yeah. Once you have done it, once you've made a video like that, or you've taken a screen grab, anything that this app does, you can then very quickly send the result, the image, the video, whatever, to someone right there from within the app. Let me show you that. And rather than my take a new screen grab, to use an example, let me also show you this. Capture history, a clipboard manager for images in CleanShot X. Um, actually, let me just do this. There's a shot on my screen right now with some bits left on the desktop that you don't need to see, and which I think are a bit ugly, really, in a screenshot. So I can also do this with Screenshot X. That is so nice. Hide desktop. Anyway, uh, if I opened a window on this Mac then and then use Screenshot X to take a full screen grab, well, yeah, it would do it, and it would hide those desktop icons automatically. I mean, you can tell it not to, but that's by default automatically gone whenever you're taking a shot of the window. Just neat, just what you need. Anyway, anyway capture history. I'm going to pick this previous screenshot, click, restore. Notice the bottom corner of the screen. Now, and any time you use CleanShot X to make a screen image or recording, by default, it ends up in that corner. And again, actually, the Mac does the same thing by default. And I have, I've definitely, I switched it off on the Mac because I never did much with the images. Here, I tend to keep it on. I might lose it later because it gives me more options, such as this. Click on the cloud icon and you are uploading the screen grab to your account on CleanShot X's servers. And then when it's uploaded, without you having to do anything else at all, you can share that image with anyone you like. Um, let's go back to that legal paragraph. Uh, delete that, paste, there's your link. To that image except i did say this uses your clean shot x accounts on your clean shot x account servers which means we do need to talk about pricing there are two two and a half ways to buy clean shot x one is that if you have a setup subscription as i do it's it's included in there already so you've already got it for the asking Setup is a subscription service where for free from about $10 a month gets you access to 230 full Mac apps, including this and including space on CleanShot X's servers for your shared images. But you could also just buy CleanShot X outright. Go straight to cleanshot.com, pay $29 and it's yours forever. For the first year of forever, you also get one gigabyte of space for sharing images. And then after that, you can choose to pay $19 a year to keep that space if you want. I don't know that I'd bother, really. I mean, it's very handy. But even sending that video to the Writers Guild, I don't have to use CleanShot X's sharing. I can just save the video on my Mac and send it later, any way I like. But if you do like the sharing size, and if you, and if you will use it a lot, there is a last way to buy, to buy CleanShot X. You can subscribe to it from $8 per month. Uh, you get the app, you get various assorted benefits, and you get unlimited cloud storage for sharing. CleanShot X, it is my new toy, I freely admit that. But after a year or more of hearing people enthuse exactly the way I've just enthused, well, it was when I, that thing, I needed something the Mac couldn't do by itself. I needed the scroll and capture. I'd heard about it from all these people going on and on and on about it. So I tried this app and now I'm going on and on and on about it too. Need is the mother of making you try a new app. 
Although, actually, trying out new apps is also a way to put off writing, isn't it? Yeah, we both know that. Listen, that's it for this edition of 58 Keys. Thank you very much for watching. Now, take care of yourself, write more, and I'll see you soon.